Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Arthur here at Health in Balance in downtown Laguna Beach. It's a beautiful day. I'm here with my good friend, professional athlete Chuck Patterson. Thanks for coming down. Thank you so much. All right, good. <laughs> so tell tell the folks a little bit about what you do, how you made a living. Well, basically, it started out. I was very fortunate. Um, you know, both my parents are professional athletes, and uh, I kind of followed in the footsteps of my mom, which was a a ski racer and uh, started skiing when I was around two and a half and it kind of escalated from there um, and uh, got into ski racing and then that one thing led to another and got into windsurfing um, and kind of competing you know each season a little bit differently and uh, just really got a, a big push with the sports and finding out that I can actually make you know a good living from it and uh, got into snowboarding, went into kiteboarding um, and just kind of went up the ladder because I think I had a little sports ADD, so to speak, and um, really have, have been very fortunate to make a good living from uh, you know the big wave surf thing and everything that's combined with it. So I got to know uh, Chuck from one of my patients uh, introduced me to him, and just at a, a point where there was a need for us to kind of get together more than a, a little social thing. You want to tell a little background? I had this one pretty bad incident where. I was filming and uh, had a camera, you know, on a helmet, and, and was pulling into a barrel of a good-sized wave in, in Mexico, and took a really hard fall, and um, kind of when I fell, I snapped my neck and kind of what they would call a stinger, and went completely numb, and um, you get all the adrenaline going and everything, and, and suddenly, you know, I'm, I'm luckily everything was good, and I just pretended the rest of the day was totally fine, kept surfing, and then you know five six days after, I felt like I got hit by a car, so. It's really important to listen to your body and, and I think that was the first time where I actually did some real homework and, and uh, you know, had a bunch of my friends that, uh, you know, have been seeing you for a long time and, and suggested uh, you want to see the real doctor, you know, that's going to take care of you and I think that was our first time and, yeah. and it really gave me an understanding of how important it is to, um, you know, not just train and and um, you know, do your thing in sports, but to really understand your body and uh, deal with injuries seriously, um, and uh, do it the right way, seeing the right people, and getting educated at the same time. Yeah, I think one of the most important things of, of being a doctor is is you're taught to first listen to what the patient is telling you, what their symptoms are. Then it's your job to diagnose what is the problem, what's the extent of the problem. I mean, you've got to do an intensive workup to find out what is the diagnosis. Do I need to send you in for x-rays? Do I need to send you in for an MRI? What do we need to do to determine the diagnosis and then determine what's the right strategy, what's the right treatment plan? Because if you get in and start rendering treatment without truly knowing what the extent of the diagnosis is, that's where you may not have as good of an outcome and you want a fast outcome, a good outcome, especially since you've got to get back in the water, you've got to get back into an event, we've got to turn this thing around pretty quickly. So we usually work together real intensively when he needs it and then, you know, if he's not in crisis, then that's what we're working on to try to keep him you know, finely tuned. This last one was a, an interesting one that uh, we've just been working on. Yeah, I mean, um, I have to say this last injury was more of an eye-opener um, and a blessing in disguise because it really, I think, slowed me down. I mean, as an athlete, you know, we're always going really hard and as you get a little older, um, it's really important. The longevity means even a lot more and for me, making a living off it, it's extremely important to really, you know, take it really seriously and um, I had a bad injury where I was kind of pushing the limits and uh, pulled into a barrel, um, you know, stand up paddling and, uh, you know, had an issue and fell and went up and over the falls and ended up landing square on my back. Well, I mean, I was very fortunate, one, that I didn't break my neck, but I knew it was very serious and uh, as soon as I came home, the first phone call was basically to, to you to basically know that I've had the best treatment. and. Uh, as an athlete, you gotta, you know, go the best if you if you're gonna have a good outcome at the end. And so for me, it was um, seeing you, knowing that I could trust you with getting the best treatment and as fast as possible. And um, there was a lot of thinking that went involved for me mentally, because you go into a state of depression as an athlete that you know where suddenly your body says I can't go anymore, and you want it so bad. And I've never been there before, at least not all the time. So I'm always used to going, 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 and then suddenly it all stops. So, um, you know, that was huge for me to 
to have someone like you that's there to comfort me and help educate me at the same time, knowing that um, we're on a road to uh, you know progression and, and it's yeah. the end result is is to be fixed. Yeah. Well, this one was more significant injury and required more significant treatment. You know, fortunately, I think it was about four weeks ago, and um, he's going to go over and get into Jaws as soon as on Sunday, right? <laughs> yeah. Right back into it. So a little hiatus and a little pit stop that was a little longer than normal, but this one, this one definitely needed a little bit longer than normal. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I definitely, you know, this one being, you know, I ended up, I guess it would be called a broken back and and broke uh, you know three vertebrae tips in in the middle of my back and and uh, to slow down and really pay attention and and to follow direction so to speak is, is somewhat hard sometimes as an athlete because you're just like I know my body better than anything but Gary's been very instrumental in to kind of explaining and educating me on what's important you know sleep taking the right medication. Um, really changing my diet and really um, understanding the importance of proper PT and, and um, you know the services that we have here at Health and Balance. We basically put everything together that can help heal bones quickly from lasers and hands-on um, techniques and high dose um, supplementation. You know, the science has proven that you have three days of inflammation after a trauma, you have one day where the tissue swells as much as it's going to, but then after that the repair stage begins and the body lays down scar tissue for the next 12 weeks. So if you don't keep all those tissues moving while it's in the repair stage, you're going to end up with a wad of fibrotic adhesions that turns up being like gristle and it'll actually limit your range of motion from that point on and decrease your, your motion in your spine. What that's going to do is that's going to lead to degenerative arthritis. So how you heal, how you manage your injuries is so important. I wish I would have known this you know, a lot younger in my life because I would have managed my injuries a lot different. You know, So you live and learn and uh, you apply it as you go, but um, how you manage your body is extremely important and uh, it's really great to see you get in touch with that cycle of really taking care of yourself. It, like going back to what you said, I mean for an athlete it's, it's um, you know, sometimes we're very stubborn. You know, we really have this idea in our head that uh, nothing can go wrong and, and we know the best and going to doctors, especially nowadays in this era, with health care and everything being very up in the air, um, you really don't know where the best care is, you know, and when you have a good doctor that helps you, helps educate you, um, and understand the importance of we're going to get you back in the field and play. Yeah. That's 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 golden. And uh, you know, for me, as athletes, you always look at and everything as a challenge. You know, and um, for me, this was a huge challenge, and that was to get better. And I remember I felt like you know a guinea pig, kind of. All right, I'm going to do whatever you say, and, and and just keep hitting me with whatever else, and you tell me what I can do and what I can kind of push, but don't go too far past it. And that actually kind of, I think, changed my mood from being depressed the first week to really, you know, getting excited and then everything that you threw at me, I was just, I wanted more and more. Yeah. And I think that really adds to, you know, the aid of, of getting healthy quicker. Yeah. And to look at it, it's been four, almost five weeks and I'm back on the mountain bike, I'm training full bore and I've, I've got so much excitement just to get back on the field and, and do what I do, but yet I still have it in the back of my head that I need to slow down, take yeah. a little time, because I'm not fully there yet, because yeah. your head is, but uh, but it, it's, it's been a great road to, uh, you know, getting healthy. So I've been very stoked. I can't thank you very much. Awesome. No. All right. Awesome. Yeah. We'll show you a couple of treatments we've been doing on him, just so you can get a little sampling of the kind of stuff we've done to help get him back in the water uh, quickly. And just like with all of our patients, we put together a customized treatment plan based on what the patient needs and what's going to help them heal the fastest based on where they want to go with their health. So in Chuck's case, since he had an injury and had um, some fractures in here, we needed to put together a, a plan to get a quick healing response. So we used a, a laser on him, we set it to some injury recall techniques, we actually did some delete processes that helped the body to get healed faster and not stay in the muscle memory of the trauma. We uh, actually started using the Graston tools where we actually helped to take 
and this was a little bit later after the inflammatory response had happened where we started working right along the spine and trying to get the swelling out of there and also making it so that we don't get too much scar tissue formation so bring your arm across there and we've been working in through here getting this tissue to open up and not adhese. So Grasson technique is a, a phenomenal technique that really works with the fascia uh, that surrounds the muscle. The fascia is the shiny, slippery part around the muscles that help them to slide individually from each other. So right here, we're working over the lower trapezius muscle, we're working over the latissimus muscle, we're working with the rhomboid muscles, we're working with the posterior serratus, so there's all these muscles. So this has been part of the technique that we've been using. That's Graston. Now the cold laser actually has a laser that, that stimulates the mitochondria to actually heal. It's been proven by the FDA to decrease the uh, pain of a person and also improve the range of motion. So anything that's gonna speed up the healing, that's what we're interested in. All right, next we're gonna use another incredible tool that just about every, every sports team has called a DMS machine, Deep Muscle Stimulator. And again, it's what we've been doing on Chuck every single day to help to decrease the muscle spasm, improve the circulation, break up the scar tissue. We've worked up and down his spine, bring this arm across again, put a little bit of motion into it, which is awesome. We follow the muscle fibers all the way across. We've been working on his lat. He's got some rather large lats. That's been another technique we've been using. We also use a form of pin and stretch. Let's get in with the fascia, find the areas, and then actually take and stretch them across. Then the other things we've been doing is the nutrition. We're trying to bring the blood into the area and in the blood comes all the nutrition. So he's just been packed with nutrition to help his tissues heal uh, quickly. Yeah, we also gave Chuck a lot of different home care exercises to really keep on moving the muscle as it heals so the adhesions don't build up. So we'll have him show you a couple in just a minute. We've also been using some muscle stem ultrasound in through the areas to, to pump again, pump those fluids in, pump those fluids out. So we'll use um, ultrasound, muscle stem, a lot of different uh, great techniques, as well as a lot of hands-on. And then wherever there's been misalignments away from the, the fracture sites, then I've been doing gentle adjusting and manipulations on those areas, mobilizations, keeping his shoulder girdle moving, keeping his upper spine moving, keeping the rib cage moving, low back, neck, you know, just keeping things moving. Another thing that we've used has been something to help keep the spine mobile and get in and keep everything moving. It's all about movement. Where there's movement, there's life. If things aren't moving, they're fusing. They're adhesing. you got to keep everything moving while it's healing. If you do that, you're going to have a much better outcome, a lot less pain, a much more complete healing. All right, so the name of the game is basically results. Results happen when you, when you have a teamwork approach. The teamwork approach we have to use with him is in office care and out of office care. They're like gear systems. When you do in office care with out of office care, then things move, things change. So what we need to do with him is also, with all the things we already explained, is give him a regimen of exercises. Of course, we all need to be doing our stretching and exercises to keep our bodies moving forward so we can really achieve our goals. Bottom line is return of investment. If you're going to invest your time or your resources to try to get somewhere with your health, you want the biggest return on your investment, the highest percentage return. That means you do your part, we do our part, and the body moves along. So in, uh, in Chuck's case, what we have to do is make sure his, his core stays strong because he's going to be in 60, 70 foot waves potentially on Sunday. Core has to stay strong. We got to keep all of his back muscles uh, moving at the same time. So Chuck, show him a couple of the things that you started doing to add to your routine. Okay, so basically, uh, let me start out with just kind of just the basic, uh, you know, balance, and that was kind of to deal with my core because I really couldn't sit on my back or put any pressure on it, so I had to do everything kind of free motion. And so being on the ball, 
this was kind of a great way to start with balance. And then he gave me a couple different steps to go from there. Um, and this was kind of to alternate balance. And it was little certain things like this that doesn't look that hard, but is extremely hard with balance in my core. And was trying to align myself with the leg being a little higher and having the arm like this and then to flip it around yep. um, and hold it that way for as long as I could and then switch. If there's an opportunity that you're training with someone, you can actually use a piece of doweling and try to use a doweling whereby the foot and the leg and the arm are lined up as close to possible. That's the best you can actually do for yourself. So and you can always look up the book by Paul Check, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, to really get a great book on how to do a lot of this functional training. Okay, good. Awesome. Show me the other one then for your, for your traps and your lats. And then, so the other one was basically to be on my knees. I could roll over the front. And remember that I, I really couldn't do much pressure, and I was just kind of every day trying to gain more you know, flexibility and see more range of motion. So I kind of roll forward, I turn my hands, my palms up, and slowly bring it up and arch, down, arch, and I try to go higher and higher and hold it. You see his lower traps just firing here as he's doing it, middle traps, lower traps. So we turn that's around, what have to keep on. Yeah, up. that's what had to keep on on training. You can see him watch as he goes up. See these muscles here? as the lower traps. We had to keep that strong and firing. Those are the main things as well as, you know, he's already pounding it hard, what, three or four hours a day as, as it is anyhow. Yeah, in the, in the gym, so that was, I mean, these were like certain things that I could do at home and kept me going and the more range of motion I got, the more my back felt better, which allowed me to kind of train a little harder in the gym. Yeah. And then come in here yeah. and do PT and get kind of fixed and it was like a perfect, rotation yeah. of uh, you know things for me to do daily yeah there was one study that showed that exercise will take a person's uh, body to here uh, physical therapy with chiropractic can take a person's body here but when you combine these two it'll give this response because you're doing something that you can do with your own physiology but then the other part is taking you beyond what you can actually do with your own physiology that's how to get the best result as fast as you can and that's the name of the game thanks so much for listening in um, hope you stay tuned for another one from Health and Balance. Thanks, Chuck, for showing up big. Thank you for All fixing right. me. You got it. <laughs>